In this video we are going to show you, how to create star ratings in your website. Where user can give ratings out of 5 stars. They will be saved in database and the average rating will be displayed based on overall ratings. First you need to download a very light library. Go to Google and search for jQuery star. Extract the zip file. Go to distribution folder, and copy the CSS and JavaScript file, and paste in your project. Open the file where you want to show ratings, and first you need to include all files. For star ratings to work, we are going to need three style sheets. and two JavaScript files. First is the Bootstrap CSS file, so go ahead and search for bootstrapcdnjs.com. Go to this website link. And copy the bootstrap.min.css, and paste this first style sheet. Second you gonna need Fontosum. So search for fontosomcdmjs.com. This star rating library will require the fontosum version, 4.2.0. Copy the fontosum.min.css, and paste a second style sheet. And third will be the star library CSS. Now come to the JavaScript files, first will be the jQuery. So search for jQuerycdnjs.com. And copy the jQuery.min.css, and paste this first script. And second script will be star library JavaScript. The basic implementation is, create a div tag and give it some class. And initialize the library after page load. Select the div tag using class. And call the function star, with 3 R. So this is how it normally looks. We are going to show 3 or 4 products from database. You can give ratings to each product, and it will be saved in database. So first create the table for products in your database. For simplicity we are creating just two fields, one for unique IED, and second for product name. You may have other fields too, like price, image, description. And we are adding some random products, you may already have some products in your database. Now create another table where all ratings will be saved. For simplicity, we are creating just three fields, unique IED, product ID, the rating user has given. You may also store user ID here, because you may want to see the ratings of each user individually. Now we will make it all dynamic. First we are going to connect with database. This is host, username, password, and name of database. Run a simple query that will return all products.
create the loop. And this function will return one product, in each iteration. We are simply displaying name of product in a paragraph. Here it is, now we will create a form that will show the ratings. Create a hidden input field for product ID, because we should know on which product user has rated. The value will be product ID which we are getting in row variable. and create a div to display stars. Give it a class. And it will be the same here. Create a simple submit button. Here it is. You can draw a horizontal line in between products, just to differentiate. The form method should be post. and attach an on submit event, because we will be calling an AJAX. Return, function name. And this, means the form element, we are sending this as a parameter so we can get its input fields. Create a function with argument as form. And return false will prevent the form from submitting. And first you need to get the product ID from form. and we need to get the ratings. So create a global variable in JavaScript as default value. Attach an event on, on star library, which will be called when user has set the ratings. Star colon change and function will have two fields, event and value and we will be needing value. Just for testing, we are displaying rating in alert. So it is working fine. Now we are going to replace the global variable, with this value, so it will always have the value user has selected. In most of the cases, you will be displaying this star rating on single product page, so do not worry about multiple items, it was just to give you an idea how you can get the user ratings from stars. So call an Ajax. The URL will be name of file, which we will create in a moment. Method should be post. And in data, first place the product ID, he will be in double quotes and ratings. Success is the function which will be called when the response is successfully sent from server. We are just displaying it in alert. Now we need to create a file named, saveratings.php. We are going to copy paste this file and rename it. Remove the content, first get product ID and ratings from Ajax request. And then create a connection with database, we are going to copy this connection function and paste there. Now we need to insert it in ratings table, so we are executing the MySQL query to do that.
first will be product ID and second will be rating. And then we will just send the response back to user. So let's check it in database. Ratings was 3, and the product was iMac. Test again with different rating. Now we need to show the average rating of each product. So first run the query to get all ratings of each product. Call this function inside the while loop block. Get all ratings. Where product ID matches with this row ID. To calculate average, first we need to get the total ratings. Initialize a variable with zero, and run a loop on each rating. And add the rating in this variable. So it will add every user's rating in this variable. Just echo the total ratings. Here it is. To calculate the average, again we need to initialize a variable with zero. Because if any product does not have any ratings, then its average will also be zero. And we need to check if this product has any ratings. If yes, then we are going to divide the total ratings by the number of users rated. We can get the total number of ratings using this MySQL function. Now echo this average variable. Here it is. Now we need to display this value in stars. So create a div tag and give it class. Also give it an attribute data rating, with value of this average variable. You can give any name to this attribute as you like. To display each ratings, we are going to use simple JavaScript. Get all the elements which has this rating class. Loop through all elements. And in selector, use the loop iteration. And call the star function. To display the rating, we need to pass an object, and give the key, as rating, and its value will be the value of data rating attribute. Which we are receiving in average variable. Here it is. Now we will test with different values. You can also disable the ratings on this product star by giving another attribute. Read only and set its value to true. Now you won't be able to give ratings on these blue stars.
and you have to change this variable to just trading, because we already have a variable named ratings. You can give any other name of your choice. That's it. I am sure it will help you to add ratings module in your website. If you face any problem, feel free to ask in the comments section below.